Hey guys, I'm Saurav and in this video, I will be talking about the Axon A1S Gimbal. The Axon A1S Gimbal is a gimbal for your DSLR and mirrorless cameras. It can support up to 3.6 kg payload. You might have heard about companies like Zion, DJI, but you might not have heard about Axon. But Axon has made an amazing gimbal that is the A1S. I will be talking about the pros and cons of this gimbal in this particular video. I have used this gimbal for a couple of months, so I think I'm in a good position to finally review it. This is not a paid review, Axon did send me the gimbal to use and review it and I hope you will enjoy this video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the carrying case. Now I'm a big fan of carrying cases because when I'm traveling, I want all my gear to be portable and compact. In case of Axon A1S, the carrying case is very compact. It fits all the things, the gimbal, the two batteries that has to be charged externally, the grip, the tripod, the cable, the gimbal plate, everything comes in this small bag which is very very useful because it is very portable and traveling becomes much more easier. Once you open the bag and you set up all the things then you have to attach your camera to the gimbal plate and start balancing. Now I have used many gimbals and I have to say that balancing this gimbal I find it a bit more easier. Obviously balancing any gimbal with the camera and lens combination is slightly tricky and it gets easier as you get used to it but I think with all the knobs and proper measurements it becomes a lot more easier. So once you have balanced your camera and the lens you are good to go. The first thing you will see is the gimbal has two different buttons one is the power button and one is the mode button. The mode button will help you to switch through different modes. Now you will get all the modes that are present in the gimbals but one mode I love is the Inception 360 mode where the camera rotates in a circle in a 360 degree manner and it creates very very interesting looking videos. You also have a thumb pad which you can use to move your camera left, right, up or down and it is very very responsive. So you can create smooth moving shots with the help of this gimbal. That was about the buttons and the modes. Now let's talk about the main thing that is the stability. You are buying a gimbal just because you want stable footage, right? And if the stability of the gimbal is not good enough, then what's the point of buying a gimbal? The Axon A1S is a very, very stable gimbal. When you're walking, you will find that there are a bit of jittery movements which can be fixed with warp stabilizer. Other than that, I find it is very, very stable. I've used this gimbal for a lot of my B-roll shots and I've never found any issues. Just make sure that when you're walking, you're not taking large footsteps and you're walking in a proper manner. Try to keep yourself as stable as possible and the rest of the work you can always leave up to the gimbal. I would rate the stability of the gimbal at about 4 out of 5. I would not rate it 5 on 5 just because I feel if the gimbal would have been a bit more heavier, it would have been much more stable. I think that the Axon A1S is on par with all the other gimbals that are there in the market. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the mobile application. I'm so excited to talk about this because this is my favorite part of the gimbal. The mobile app of the Axon connects with the gimbal within seconds. There are no connection failures. I have been using this gimbal for two to three months and the app has always been very reliable. You can use the app to control the camera movement. You can move it up, left, down, right and there are no wires connected. You're operating your gimbal completely wirelessly. My favorite feature in the app is the motion control. With the motion control, you can actually set 20 different points in the 3D space and you can set the amount of time you want the camera's movement to be and the gimbal will do the trick for you. This is my favorite feature of the app and I use it all the times and I can be very very creative and getting creative cinematic shots has become a lot more easier after I have started using this particular gimbal. So there are different features of the app. You can also create motion time lapses. Start using the app and you will understand how nicely the app has been made. It looks very simple but it is very very reliable and useful. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the build quality. Now I like everything about the gimbal. If I have to point one negative thing about this gimbal, that is the build quality. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the build quality is not good but when I used the DJI Ronin S, I felt the build quality was slightly much more premium. Even the grip is not that comfortable to hold. 
when you're using the setup with a heavier camera, you need a comfortable grip. I hope Axon fixes it in the next gimbal. But other than that, I would again rate it at 4 out of 5. If I have to rate 5 on 5, I would give that to DJI Ronin S. I would have liked a much more premier build quality. If that would make the gimbal a bit more heavier, I was fine with it because that would add that extra stability. The last thing is the battery life. The battery life is great. Once you have charged both the batteries, it can last you up to days. I have charged once and I have used this gimbal for a week and I have found no need to charge it again. It lasts for about 12 to 15 hours without any issues. The battery life is great. The stability is great. The mobile application is really really amazing. The gimbal only cost $500 or 35,000 Indian rupees approximately. So when you compare the Axon A1S with different competitions from Zayun, Moza and DJI, you will see that they are giving a similar gimbal but at a very cheaper price. So if you're a filmmaker and you're looking for gimbal for the smooth stable shots, Axon A1S is a very good option. I hope this video helped you and if it did, press the like button. If you love the video and if you're new to the channel, subscribe to my channel for more such quality content. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.